All right, so we've been on a little walk through, oh gosh. All right, so we've been walking through Paris, seeing all kinds of cool things. And uh, now, as you can see, oh man, you can't see Jack. So we've been walking around the city of Paris and uh, kind of taking in the different historic sites. And now I'm at a place completely out of my element. Ah, the Louvre, the largest and most famous art museum on the entire planet. And the fact that I am here doing a video is probably one of the biggest jokes ever. Uh, any art historian or art aficionado that watches this video is probably going to be appalled because I don't know anything about art. Uh, we're just going to go through the museum. Uh, what we like, we'll film. What we don't like, we might film that too. And uh, some people might enjoy it, some people will hate me for it. But uh, anyway, you, you can't go through one of the, the most important uh, museums in the world and not at least try to do a video. So this is going to be my attempt at the Louvre. Okay, so this is actually pretty cool. This is some of the original foundation, I think, for the palace here uh, that the Louvre Museum currently sets on. Uh, so this was originally a, a fortress uh, of King Felipe Augusta. So yeah, this is pretty cool. I, I like this. What the heck is this? Oh, it's a, a well. All right, that's cool. This is actually just pretty dang cool. So I guess that's what the Fortress of the Royal Residence originally looked like. And there's my wife. She's been trying to stay out of the video, but she just got in it. <laughs> so before this was a palace, it was a fortress that protected Paris. And dang, this is cool. I love this. So neat that they've got the original foundation structure and moats down here. Now, Here's one of the most famous Greek pieces of architecture of all time, the Venus de Milo. Discovered on a Greek island in 1820, and she has no arms. There's actually a theory that this could also be Artemis holding a bow. Uh, and there's some holes that you can see where she was adorned with jewelry and things like that. So, yeah, pretty cool to see a famous piece like this. Okay, so we're putting this one in the cool category of things that we like. This is a Greek sculpture from uh, probably about the 3rd century BC, and it's called The Winged Victory of Samothrace, and it depicts the goddess Nike. Uh, it was discovered in the 1800s, I believe. But that one's cool. I don't know why, but I just, I just like it. And here is the Mona Lisa. Oh, wait, never mind. Okay, I hear a bunch of people gasping and a lot of people crowding in here, so we're going to see what we got. Oh, yep, 
Yep, I see it. Actually, all I see is the back of this dude's head right now. All right, well, there's a big old line right here. To get up close to see that, which I can't even focus it. Oh my gosh. So there we go. One of the most famous paintings of all time, right there. People talk about how it's small. It's actually pretty good size. But one of Da Vinci's most famous works. As evident by the number of people that are here to see it. So I'm still in the same room as the Mona Lisa. And this is on the back end. The reason I'm including it is because dead gum, it's big. Holy smokes. Kind of cool, I guess. Hmm. Hmm. Starting to think that I could have some work in the Louvre. There are legitimately people admiring and taking pictures of this giant black rectangle. So here's a painting, and I know what's going on. It's David with the head of Goliath. You can see, you know, Goliath's decapitated head with a dent in it. But I don't know about that hat. The hat gives this one a down vote for me. Biggest birdbath I ever did see. Dang. So I'm guessing that this must be the bathtub that was custom designed for William Howard Taft. So this is another one that I really legitimately wanted to see. Uh, this is called the Raft of the Medusa. And it uh, depicts a shipwreck of a boat called the Medusa um, that wrecked off the coast of Senegal. And there wasn't enough room on the lifeboats. So about 150 guys piled onto these hastily built rafts, as you can kind of see here. And uh, long story short, they only had a couple biscuits and a few casks of water and some, I think, six casks of wine is how the story goes. And uh, long story short, after 13 days at sea, uh, they ended up fighting each other and uh, killing each other and cannibalizing each other to where there was only 15 left. As you can see, there's a lot of people coming to see this one. Very, very cool. I like this one. Okay, so here's one of Napoleon. I don't know anything about this. I just like it. And it's big. So, uh, in an earlier video, I made mention of how uh, Napoleon was crowned emperor at the Cathedral of Notre Dame. And Napoleon didn't like to do anything small, including the depiction of the painting of the coronation at the Cathedral of Notre Dame. That thing is massive. Look at that. So this son of a gun is 33 feet by 20 feet and was commissioned by Napoleon himself, I think in 1804. And if you look, so here's Napoleon. And if you look, all eyes of every single person painted here are on Napoleon. He's at the center of the whole thing. Now that is a big old painting. We're, we're putting this in the like category. I like this one. All right, well, that was the Louvre. And uh, whenever they say that it is the largest art museum in the world, they're not kidding. Uh, we basically sprinted through this place because we didn't have a lot of time. And uh, man, my feet are, are feeling it. I mentioned that I'm not really into art as much as other people might be. Just because one area is not your area of expertise doesn't mean that you can't still learn. Uh, I'm really glad that we came here today. I, I learned a lot. This, this was a cool experience.